What's up guys, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time now. This is just my journey as a barber and I really want to take you guys in. I've, across the geez, two and a half years now, it wasn't until I graduated high school until I picked up a clipper. I just want to take you guys in on my journey as a barber. Let's go! April of 2020, my senior year of high school got shut down because of quarantine. Me and my brother got tired of having long hair. No sir, no sir. So we buzzed our heads. Yes, sir. And then after that, I started cutting my friends. Let's go! Which is cutting them multiple times as much as I could. Before going to my freshman year of college at Texas A&M, I researched a bunch of items on YouTube on what to get the best the best equipment. I came across Chris Bossio, the goat, the barber's table, Neil Fawns, a lot of the guys that I still watch and are, are friends with now, which is crazy to think. And I started cutting hair at Callaway House in College Station at my freshman apartment for free. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> and then I eventually started cutting for $5. Um, I cut that whole year into my summer job and it was at that place I cut a guy who connected me with Luke Wu. And it's crazy because now Luke and I are friends and he's probably watching this. And it's just how crazy how God works and how he puts different people in our lives. Then like how it's kind of manifested and how Luke's played a pivotal role in my barbering career. That this is the fall of my sophomore year. I was cutting hair out of my garage and using a booking app, so a little bit more advanced. And I was being mentored by Luke Knowles, who's a very successful barber in my town, and Luke Wu. They were really encouraging me to go to barber school and telling me how they did and how I could, and I just never bought in. I was afraid to commit. Um, and then my world, what seemed like, came crashing down. And, December of 2021. Uh, I needed to switch my major because I was about to fail a class. No sir. Uh, I needed to get out of a relationship with a girl. No sir. And I had a huge internship in the summer fall through and was just completely devastated. No sir. You know what I did? I switched my major. Yes sir. I broke up with a girl. Yes sir. And I went to barber school. For the and then y'all have seen it. January 17th is when I started barber school. January 27th is when I posted my first thing on Spitz Cuts. And barber school itself is a whole thing to talk about and I will make a video about that. It was in a completely different environment. I was taking six hours, which is a little less than half a regular course load. So it was full time committed to going to barber school met some incredible people that are still really good friends of mine. Got really close to Daniel D, the modern barber, my, my devoted videographer and really good friend Christian. All right, I really wanted to mention this day and this time because it was a point that I really started to believe in myself and that barbering was, was bigger than just me. It's been what I'd been gifted with and more than that, the content that goes with it. May 16th, I posted this video, new AP on my flood. May 18th, I went to a class of Chris Bossio and Yo Fawns and it was there. I saw Yo Fawns before the class and he just spoke so much life and so much encouragement to me and I just remember him saying, bro, you're dope. And I honestly just was lost in the moment of like how much love he spoken to me and how much encouragement he did. I was talking to Fonz after the show and Bossio said to me, you're dope bro. Like I saw your, your video and like it's next level. And then went to a dinner with them after that, really talked about content and just life. And I would say it was there that I really knew that barbing was bigger than, than myself, that these people who have been successful with business, content, barbering and life that I look up to so much, believed in me and saw potential in me. So Fonz, Basio, if you're watching this, I'm forever grateful for you guys. Thank you for speaking life into me and believing in me. And people always say, Spitz, why are you always repping for Barber Supply? Or why are you always wearing Tomb 45? And I, th I think about that as I'm writing the notes for this, that you guys have just shown so much love to me. Like, Forward Barber Supply has hosted Tomb 45, and they know me, they know my name, and they care about me, so I want to support that. So that's why, boys. And I finished a week before I started my junior year of college in August of 2022. 
And then this semester, this fall of 2022, had a ton of growth as a barber. Um, I'll be completely honest, I haven't really shared this, that I just have had sh struggled with creating content, coming up with ideas. I think that's all for a reason. I look back on this time and realize that it was just a time to cut hair and juggle school and other responsibilities that I've had. And so I'm thankful for, for the journey. And uh, I'm thankful that I, I've struggled to create content because maybe I'm not supposed to be right now or then. I'm really, really excited for what 2023 has to offer. Just before the year started, I started dating an incredible girl named Lexi uh, who really brings the best out in me. I'm gonna be uploading weekly, hopefully on YouTube. I really wanna push this, even just content, content, content. Just wanna go with what I have that day. I really, I have a ton of ideas. Of course, you can see me in my new setup. Yes, sir. I am going to be doing a video on that. The next one. Yeah, man. About to start working at a new shop with some really good friends of mine and could not be more excited about that. And I'm graduating from college in next December. Just have one more year with really good friends. Not fully committed to barbing yet because I'm still doing school. It's something that I want to finish and have worked hard to at this point. And even if it is just for that piece of paper. But we're going to do it. Looking forward to 2023 and seeing what this, my journey, how it continues to unfold. Um, I really wanted to make this to show you guys that I'm not any different from you. I didn't start getting good at cutting hair. I'm still learning. I'm still not great. I really hope this gives you some insight to see that you know, I'm just another guy. Yeah, man.